You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Good Tuesday to you. Going to put you on the spot. Oh, uh uh-oh. Okay, go back through your illustrious educational careers. Okay. Okay, John, you first. Favorite teacher. Did you have one? My favorite teacher? Yeah. What comes to mind? Mrs. Kreutzfeld just popped in my mind. Really? English teacher. Okay. Who, she liked Johnny Carson. She would watch his show the night before. Okay. And I would usually stay up and watch it too. Uh And then she would start her class kind of doing like some of the jokes from that, like a little bit Mm -hmm, of a monologue. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And... just made she made that class so much fun. So Mrs. Kreutzfeld. She happened? was engaging. She was. And I had several. I could list off several more too. Just need one. That's the one. Heidi, you. Mr. Ingram. Mr. Ingram. He was my Ingram. wood shop teacher. She had a crush on him. I think. When there was still shop class. Yeah. Oh, wood shop and drivers. And yeah. did he have all of his fingers? Yes, he did. You usually don't find that with the wood shop. He teachers. was fantastic. I just adored him. Still do. I we still exchange Christmas cards every year. I gave him a bunch no of records. Kidding. Yeah. He's yeah. a record collector, so I gave him a bunch of records. He really liked them. Well, that's pretty cool that you're still in touch with like some of these people. Yeah. Yeah. He's Interesting. A good man. I'm friends with my teacher's daughter on huh. Facebook. All right. Well, National Teacher Day. So Very nice. Fav, Do you have a favorite? Who is your favorite? Oh, golly. Let's see. Which ones didn't beat the hell out of me? <laughs> you, should, you should be the most prepared. Sure you knew the question. <laughs> Well, I'm a little biased these days because my daughter's a teacher. So, oh, yeah. Although I've never uh, been in her in her class. Well, not really. She does dress me down on occasion. But uh, <laughs> CDs, probably the first one I remember most because really, really, really. And, and both my parents were voracious readers. But uh, she was the first teacher I remember who read like a real book. Yeah. Like a real book cover to cover in class. Her name was uh, Mrs. Uh, Suplik, actually. Oh, nice. And the book was called Rascal. It was about a kid who had a pet raccoon. Oh, oh, wow. Author's name was Sterling North. I still remember the, the other Yeah, name. cool as that. But just the way she, and she stood up in front of the class. She did not sit down. She stood up and just did this book, read this book, and it was like, it really got me into the reading thing. Do you guys have- That's uh, great. So talk and about you read all the time. All the time, constantly. Is, yeah, so she had a big impact on your life. Huge impact. Which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I give her Too credit bad for we that. We don't have Gotta time to that. talk about our least favorite teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I have a list. That goes on it's and on. alphabetical. <laughs> you know, shortly after I graduated, I was out at Brookdale. Which is now just a big parking lot. It was one of the first uh, indoor malls in yeah. Minneapolis. <clears throat> so now I'm uh, like 18 years old. I've graduated high school. And I'm walking out and there's a well, science teacher and, and hockey teacher. He was both Mr. Allenbeck. Oh, yeah. Walked up and said, Mr. Allenbeck, how you doing? He, he was about 6'3", or taller than me. And he looks, and tips his glasses down, and he goes, Danny? Yeah. He goes, Wow. The teacher's lounge, we had bet on you the first to be taken out with a bullet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jeez. Wow. Yeah. You know, he was surprised to see me right. alive. You don't tell the students that. Oh, he did. He had no problem saying that. Uh, All right. James Brown, the hardest working man in showbiz, one of my heroes, has a birthday today. Happy birthday. James and the Flames, Godfather of Soul. <laughs> uh, Cheryl Burke. You familiar with Cheryl? Cheryl Burke. Spent 23 seasons on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, okay. One of the okay. professional dancers. Huh. Actually won a couple of seasons, including season three with Dallas Cowboys running back Emmett Smith. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Some I've only athletes. seen like part of one episode, so. Cheryl is 38 today. And she was the maid for the Brady Bunch. Oh. And B. Davis. Alice. Yeah. Born this day. I loved her. She was the greatest. Let's see. It was 1971. National Public Radio begins broadcasting. And they talk like this. Yes, didn't, you think, didn't you think it was like long before that? But no, it was 1971. Huh. 1971. The reason for that coming on board and going on air under the taxpayer dime was to get all these outlying rural communities connected with the rest of the nation, which at that point a lot of them weren't. We're Are talking they now, country. Yeah. Oh, they're more than connected now. <laughs> And it's still government subsidized, which yeah. is just insane to me. Yeah. If you, if you love public radio, write a check. Because <laughs> I don't want to anymore. <laughs> I got some stories there, but I'm going to just be nice. Let's see here. Uh, but I worked uh, with them for a while. 1978, the first unsolicited, this was 1978, unsolicited bulk commercial email or spam <gasps> is sent oh. by a digital equipment corporation, Marketing Weasel, hmm. to every other address on the U.S. West Coast. Oh, wow. That had to be 13 addresses back then. <laughs> <laughs> 
And finally, in 1991, the 356th and final episode of the CPS uh, TV series, Dallas, airs. Ah, that was a big deal. That would become, wasn't the last... That was not the last episode. No. Who shot JR? I think it no, was. No, but that was a big deal. That I was a cliffhanger. Remember like that, that goofy yeah. uh, JR's brother Bobby in the shower or some weird stuff, and it was like everything was a dream or some weird deal. I didn't I watch the remember. series. I didn't watch the series. Either. My mother did. I just remember people kind of flipping out over the oh, ending yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. I don't it know. It was if... interesting. Yeah, I didn't watch it. That would be CBS's second longest running TV series. You know what was the longest on CBS? MASH. Gunsmoke, baby. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, with Mr. Arnez. Nice. It's a homeboy. He's out of the Twin Cities, actually. So, there you go. I know you know. We all know. We just bounce forward. Going to do that. It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code radio20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code radio20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show. Super excited to visit with Dr. Shilpa Runta. She's the co-chair of the VA National Blood Drive and the chief medical officer at the VA Bedford Health System. And they're doing something really awesome right now, the Department of Veteran Affairs National Roll-Up-Your-Sleeve Blood Drive. Let's talk about what this is, when this is, and how people listening can participate. Absolutely. So, you know, to begin with, um, I would like to uh, kind of talk about the kind of shortage we are facing right now. Because since the start of COVID-19, which is more than two years ago now, more than 20% of the U.S. blood drives have been canceled. And we are anticipating a difficult summer collection effort because of the schools being released for the summer break. And then more more and more of our workforce is on either a hybrid or a remote work setting. And that is what is causing an overall decrease in the blood drives and subsequently leading to fewer donations. Um, You know, people are still getting sick and uh, we have accidents. We are anticipating more as the COVID-19 restrictions are going to be lifted and relaxed nationwide and more people are going to travel. So VA has teamed up with all the blood collection centers across the nation to give blood. And together, we are sharing one message that it is safe to give blood and that you cannot get or give COVID through a blood donation. Now, this is being done with the VA. Is this for veterans only, or is this for everybody to get out and roll up their sleeve? Yeah, so the blood collected is not exclusive for the use of veterans' health care. In fact, this is for everyone. Uh, this is to replenish the overall national blood supply. And, you know, to uh, even a VA-driven local uh, blood drive, Anybody, um, non-veteran, veteran can go and donate blood. And if somebody would like to do this, the roll up your sleeve blood drive, again, it's going on right now. How do I sign up? Do I just go in and do this? Do I register in advance? What's the best way to make sure I do it right? Yeah, so please contact your local VA medical center. You can go on their website or you can, uh, you know, if you are a patient there, you can go and find out at the local facility and see if they have a blood drive scheduled. And they typically will have that on their website. And uh, you can uh, sign up and you can get an appointment. If you're not able to go to a VA um, medical center, you can go to a local blood collection center. And all you need to go and say there is that you're giving blood for the Roll Up Your Sleeve VA campaign and the donation will be linked to the VA national campaign. And I have to say this, but not to forget to sh- share that on the social media so you can actually encourage not only you know, your family and your friends to go and donate blood. I like that. And the thing that's nice, this again, you're doing this in conjunction with American Red Cross, and they've, they've been known for years to do this, and, and you guys have, this is not your first time doing this either. So I love the fact that you're working together, both of you, to help the entire country. I love that. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we're doing this with the American Red Cross, the American Blood Center, so all blood collection centers have teamed up with the VA and we are, um, you know, rolling this campaign out. And we have been doing this since December of 2021. Um, I have to point out that 109 of the VA medical centers have registered to host um, nearly 350 blood drives since December of 2021. 
And then for the roll-up, your VA where you can go and donate at a local blood collection center. 5,500 donors have already given to the community blood collection agencies as the roll-up for your um, please donor campaign, of which 641 are first-time donors. So we encourage first-time donors, we encourage all diverse groups to go and give blood. Um, because that's really what is important right now. And again, it's the Roll Up Your Sleeve Blood Drive. It's going on now. If somebody would like to get information on where they can go to register, is there a website that's the best one to go to? So there's not a particular website, but you can go to your local VA website, or you could also go to the you know America Red Cross website. You could go to America Blood Center's website, and you can look at when their drives are, or you can just go to a local blood collection center and just go and give blood, saying that you're giving it for Roll Up Your Sleeve VA campaign. Very nice. Thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate what you're doing and and also appreciate you taking the time to chat with us about it. Absolutely. And thank you for having me here. Absolutely. Again, the VA Roll Up Your Sleeve 2022 National Blood Drive. It's going on now. I'm going to find a a link for the local VA and I'll put that at Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio and Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. And now stuff Dan finds interesting. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. And Dan, what do you find interesting on this Tuesday? You know, this is kind of a nail-biter here. If you recall, uh, a while back, Governor Christy Nome, uh, you know, fired the warden and some other brass oh, up yeah. at the penitentiary. Up on there, the hill, yeah. There were shenanigans going on, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And they're trying to fix that place. This report just came out. This is kind of a nail-biter. No, oh, what's going on? Okay, think about all the positions at, like, the state pen. There are lots of right. them. Yeah. yes. Every employer in the country is having trouble yep. finding help. I yeah. don't care if it's manufacturing. I, I don't care what exactly. it is. We've Pe- been trying to replace you for months. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm just kidding. And we're nobody not. will step up. Uh, we're not. Because they know they can't fill these shoes. <laughs> no. Am I right? I'm, just, I'm only kidding because it was so absurd to even say uh, such a thing. According to the latest stats, 46% of the jobs available at the South Dakota State Pen are open. 47%. In other words, they're flying Whoa. at about half staff up there. Wow. That's terrifying. It's crazy. Just a year ago, they were down about 25%. So yeah. the openings have almost doubled. Doubled. Yeah. Yeah. They've done everything from rearranging how stuff works. They've increased pay by a lot. They're doing $5,000 sign-on bonuses, mm. and it just doesn't seem to be working. In fact, because of the shortness of staff... They've got to kind of switch around the way they uh, operate stuff. For instance, they're doing like two days in a row with no showers now oh, wow. for the inmates. That, well, yeah. people got to watch people, right? Yep, yeah, exactly. See where I'm going with this? So I was thinking about this. Okay. It's like even if you're offering this, that, and the other thing, let's face it, that's a tough gig. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Hats off to those who do absolutely. it, by the way. Prison guard, whatever. But it seems to me. Oh, no. Okay, listen, j- just hear me out. <laughs> I'm going to hear you out. I'm just getting ready to bleep you out, too, though. Okay, just say they're hiring entry-level people to work at the pen and say it's, I don't know, 18 bucks an hour. Okay. Okay, okay what's half 18? Nine bucks, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, now, inmates do get paid for doing whatever, and it's really, it's cents. Yeah. It's right. not a lot of money, but it builds up over whatever time you're incarcerated, and here's your check, have a nice day. Correct. We don't want to see you back here. Right. Yeah. But let's take just nine bucks an hour. Yeah. There's got to be at least 50% of the inmate population that you can throw a uniform on. <laughs> Give them nine bucks an hour. Who'd be better? They know what the other guy's going to do, right? Because they're one of them. <laughs> right? Are you following me? It's so literally putting the inmates in charge of the prison. And they can lock themselves up at night. <laughs> oh, I see no problem here. I see a lot of problems here. <laughs> no, sometimes you have to just kind of go... What if? Yeah. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Well, I can tell you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying, you know, you don't have to give them nine millimeter Glocks on their hips, but, you know, why not a taser? It's not going to kill somebody. 
but they're making money. It's kind of an honor system thing. Yeah. And with good behavior, you can achieve that position. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, hey, Bob, you wrote a bunch of bad checks and whatever. You sold a couple cars, but how'd you like to be a prison guard? <laughs> yeah, as long as you anyway, can do. Might as well be making some Did, money. Didn't you have this same idea not too long ago? I have them? lots of ideas, John. I'm pretty sure you had the same idea to fill the teacher shortage for the substitute teachers. Oh, I wanted to use inmates for that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And to drive the school buses. I'm well, pretty sure, Dan, you, you keep coming up with the same idea over and over here. <laughs> well, it's like this workforce just sitting there. <laughs> right, they're sitting around. They don't have a whole lot to do. Some of them could be <sighs> personal trainers. Okay, if I'm you in, could bring people in for personal training. If I'm incarcerated... <laughs> And somebody says, hey, you want to make nine bucks an hour? Yeah. And like, here's a badge and a club. <laughs> I'm all over this. <laughs> the club. <laughs> Seriously, I'm oh, all over it. It's like, Dan? yes, yeah. you can trust me. <sighs> <laughs> Holy cow. <sighs> hey, um, I know, not, not that I want to change the subject on here or anything. But. There's nothing to change. I'm done. I'm a solutions guy. You I'm, are a solutions guy. I see these stats and I go, hey, here's an idea. Take it or leave it, man. I just, Whatever. I just want to remind folks, uh, tomorrow is our first Wednesday of May. Oh, that's right. It is National Pet Month, and we've got uh, a nice $25 gift card with your name on it from Mini Critters. So that's tomorrow. And then Thursday is our first Thunder Road Thursday of 2022. So uh, if you go to our page, sunnyradio.com, and click on the uh, win tickets and other uh, awesome stuff, you'll you'll see all of that. So, And then we'll have winners starting tomorrow. Dan, thanks for coming in, man. Hey, my, my pleasure. <laughs> what? I don't see why any of this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. All right. It's, it's border, the... borderline genius. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is. It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left. So how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. Equity slipped to the start of a new month and may fall further if the FOMC spooks the market Wednesday. The FOMC is expected to hike interest rates by at least 50 basis points and could go for 75. Even if this interest rate hike is only 50 basis points, the market should expect a hawkish statement from the Fed and a high likelihood for aggressive policy adjustments this year. As it is now, the market is pricing in at least 12 25 basis point hikes by the end of the year, which is enough to put the base rate at the highest level since before the housing bubble burst. Also on tap this week is the NFP report. The economists are expecting another strong month of job gains, with net job creation topping 400,000. The risk for the market is that wages will continue to rise and accelerate, driving inflation throughout the economy. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.